praise God on this incredible September day, everybody! It's Car Farty for a brand new Let's Play, DuckTales Remastered for the Wii U. This is a fabulous remake. This was originally an NES game called DuckTales, and they remade it for Wii U, as you can see, with improved graphics, uh, voice talent, better music, and just a couple changes, and it's fabulous. It is a really, really well done game, and I can't wait to play it. So let's dive on in. So first up, I want to go to options, just to show these off. So there are a couple of options. There's hard pogo. One of your moves in the game is a pogo stick, where if you have hard pogo on, you have to push down and the Y button, whereas if you have it off, you just need to hold the Y button to the pogo. I'm going to keep hard pogo off. It doesn't really do much. Rumble's going to be on. I am not going to have the 8-bit music on. I like the remastered soundtrack, to, uh, personally. Quick cinemas I'm going to have off because I want to show off all the cinema scenes. They're pretty well done. All right. Nope. It's quick cinemas off. Now we're going to go back, and we're going to start a new game. Start a new game. Existing save data will be overwritten, encoding total money and gallery unlocks. Yeah, that's fine. Oh. There are three different difficulties. That explains why it was so hard. I'm gonna play on hard. I don't know what the differences are. What is this? Cut me, kilt. Me money bin alarm. Quick, Duckworth, get the limo. I shall uh, <clears throat> get out in gear, sir. Oh boy! Hurry! The pedal is to the middle, Mr. McDonald. <laughs> I love the graphics. They're so pretty and hand drawn. And yet they're 3D and 2D at the same time. Oh, not the Beagle Boys again. If they think they can stand between Scrooge McDuck and his three cubic acres of cash, they've got another thing coming. Oh man. So, this is the first level, the Money Bin, which was actually not even in the NES version. Oh, catchy music already. So, Scrooge is pretty simple. He can move left and right, he can jump, and then if you hold Y, he can pogo stick. This is his pretty much only method of attack. He can bounce on enemies' heads, and as you can see, we can jump higher when we're pogo sticking. And as you can see, sometimes when you land on innocuous spots, gems will appear when you move away. And of course, we're Scrooge McDuck, so we want to make sure that we have as much money as we can. I'm the Scrooge! I'm the Scrooge up here! Oh dear! Oh, Huey! Are you all right, my boy? Yeah, but you better watch out! The Beagle Boys messed with your security system! Ooh, yeah! We've taken over the whole place! Yeah, Me money! Hey! Eh? Oh, 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 don't worry, lad, I'll save you. Wow, jumping hold wire, ain't to perform a pogo Ooh, jump. Mama, be so proud. I, I, I caught me a Rest in peace, Alan Young. You were a great Scrooge. <laughs> oh, 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 now that's what I call a stomachache. You were hit on the head, you moronic marauder. <laughs> You're welcome, lad. But Huey, what are you doing here? Well, we saw the Beagle Boys going into the money bin and... We? Sure. Louie and Dewey are here, too. You better hurry up, Scrooge. They might be in trouble. Oh my gosh, I'm going to be gushing over the graphics for pretty much this whole Let's Play, but the animations are so fluid, and I love how they're like 2D sprites in like a kind of 3D world. It's really cool. I think it's technically 2.5D. Whoa, look at that gem. So these, those uh, yellow gems are diamonds, and then we'll also see rubies later in the game. Yep, you can use the pogo jump to defeat enemies. Booyah. And we can climb up here just by pushing the up button. These are chests. You can open them either by jumping on them, or for things like chests, you can hold... Yeah, I'm moving into it, and he's got his cane ready. If you push Y, he golf shots it into the corner. Pretty nice. I like jumping to innocuous spots in the hopes that they'll generate money. Woohoo! 
Yep, see, like that. That just made a ruby appear, which uh, rubies are extremely valuable. And you can release Y when you're in the middle of a pogo jump, and he'll stop pogoing, which is nice if you want to land on, say, the chests without opening them. I love Scrooge's voice. I'm so sad that Alan Nut Yun is no longer with us. Woohoo! Money! Treasure! Well, as you can see, yep, we just jumped to make that chest appear. We can use that as a platform if we time our power jump just right to get more money up here! Bless me, bagpipes! I love how Scrooge occasionally just starts talking when you collect a bunch of money. Walk up to an item and hold forward, then press Y or A to perform a cane swing! That's what you saw before. You can do it on even non-treasure chests like this. Now we can use that as a platform to get up here. Alright, we'll let the Beagle Boy come over here and jump on his head. So if you are thinking of watching this game being like, Oh, this looks like a really fun kids game. Hey kid, you got a sandwich or something? Burger Beagle? Get away from him, you gluttonous goon! Sorry, Scroogey. Not a chance. Yeah, I, as I was saying, if you think this is just like your typical kids game, it's not. This game is really tough, so you gotta be on your A game. Uh -huh. So pushing that switch will make that hammer appear. What happens if we push this switch? Hamburger! Mm. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Take that. I did. Oh, you hunt a lot. Now, I'm fine, but I saw Louie heading up the stairs with about a thousand beagle boys right behind him. Stay here. I'll handle this. It's funny because in the Donald Duck comics, there are like three beagle boys, and in this, there's like a ton of them. Use the Killing Swing to send round rocks flying. Walk up to an item and hold forward, then perform the Killing Swing. Yeah, so the round objects like that, he will hit in a diagonal pattern. You can use that to hit enemies, or knock platforms like that out of the sky. Oh no! I missed my chance to get that gem! Let's just watch your step here, don't get hit by the hammers, and you'll be fine. Up I go. Oh. <laughs> yeah, those of you who are not up on your Scrooge McDuck knowledge, he's extremely rich. We are in his money bin where he stores all of his money and then he can swim in it. It's fantastic. Oh no! I missed the ruby! And I don't think it respawns. Nope. Ah oh, man, that's okay. Yeah, you've got to scroll the ruby down like that in order to grab it. Woo! Ice cream restores any uh, one heart if you lose it. As you can see, Scrooge has three hearts in the upper right corner, uh, upper left corner. Those are his health, and then the Scrooge faces with the two next to it. Those are his lives. You can get more lives, but it's tough. We also can extend our hearts, but again, not until later. Ho-ho! Uh -oh. Always pogo to out-of-the-way places. It's mine! <laughs> it's mine! Uh, just in case. Nope. Also, the ki the pogo jump sends you very high in the air, but if you release Y, then you'll start dropping. Alright, so there are two chests here. We want to hit this backwards into that one, because we can actually pogo on this one. That way we get more money. Oh, ouch. That hurt. Hurry up, the Scrooge! They're headed for your office! Hold on, lads. I'll have you free in a jiffy. Not so fast, Big Duck. We're running things around here now. Cuss me, Duck. One false move and I'm a roast duck. Please be a good Scrooge. It's not worth it. Nonsense, me boy. So now we gotta watch out for these lasers, which will hurt us if we touch them. You'll never beat us, Scrooge. So we're gonna hit that switch. That'll make that switch up there turn up. Hey, 
When I get the gold, I'm gonna buy mom a new owl. I don't care what you're gonna buy your mom. Get out of here. We almost got them all. A fat lot of good that will do us if they make it to me vault. Uh oh. You can't let them steal Scrooge's hard-earned money. And I do mean hard-earned. Scrooge is a hard worker. I'm a big fan of Scrooge McDuck myself. Scrooge is one of those characters where I'm like, if I saw Scrooge walking around Disney World, I would totally get my photo with him. Oh! That was a one-up, if you couldn't tell. <laughs> it's a little plush uh, Scrooge. I didn't realize there was one on this level. You're not going to find them usually just by, like, jumping randomly into uh, innocuous spots. Normally those are something you can only get from a very special character. Oh boy, it's time for the boss! Or should I say it's time for the boss? I'm not the great best Scottish accent, though. Step away from me, fortune, you crook. <laughs> not this time, McDuck. Oh, you ain't getting the drop on this big old boy. Time for the boss fight, the Helmet Head Beagle Boy. We cannot hurt him by jumping on his head because he has got that helmet. However, he throws a globe at us, which we can hit there, land the safe on his head, and then jump on his head. But some of the stuff he throws at you, it can be hard to dodge. Also, bosses in this tend to have a lot of HP, and that's all of my health gone. I'm going to die a lot in this game, especially at the beginning, because you only have three hearts. That's how the boss music is amazing. Actually, literally every song in this game is amazing. Every single one. Woohoo! Ouch! I was not expecting that. What he throws does not uh, determine we, uh, what way he'll throw it. You just have to react. So this is actually a fairly tough first boss. And again, he's got a ton of HP. None of this you hit him three times and he's dead, man. Nope. But now he's gone. Cool. Curse you, muck duck! This ain't the last you'll see of me! Yeah, good riddance to bad beagles, I say. Now why in the world was he interested in this old painting? Surely there are more valuable... Ooh, what's well, this? Well, pluck me pin feathers. It looks like some kind of secret code. Boys, boys. Well, what the animations. What is Scrooge? Yeah, what is it? I'm not sure, but I know how to find it out. I'll feed it into my supercomputer and use Gyro's new crypto analysis program. Then we'll know what the Beagle Boys were after. <laughs> Stand back, lads. Boy, oh boy, I can't wait. <laughs> What is it, Uncle Scrooge? It's a treasure map, lads. And no ordinary treasure by the look of things. Only Uncle Scrooge would call any kind of treasure ordinary. <laughs> look, one of the treasures is in the middle of the Amazon. And there's another one in Transylvania. And one buried ten miles underground. Hey, wait a minute. Something screwy. This last treasure can't be right. Yeah, there's no mountain on Earth that's that high. Well, according to the Junior Woodchuck's guidebook, to get there we'd have to take about 537 million steps straight up till we reach the moon. You mean the moon moon? It looks that way, lads. <laughs> well, what are we waiting for? That treasure's not going to discover itself. All right. So that's the first level down, and this is where you would start in the NES game. There are five different levels we can go to. The Amazon, Transylvania, the African Mines, the Himalayas, or the Moon. So this is kind of cool. It's like Mega Man, where you can choose like pretty much any level to do in any order. But again, some levels are much harder than others. For example, the worst mistake you can make is starting with the Amazon. The Amazon is unbelievably difficult. Do not start with it. And again, we'll be getting to these in the next video. I'm going to try to do one level per video. But in the meantime, this is not the end of the episode, because there are a couple things I want to point out. Mainly, once again, that the music and graphics are beautiful in this game. It's so much fun, but this is the greatest part of the game right here. We can enter our vault. 
And I feel like if you know of Scrooge, you know he does this. Geronimo! We can swim in our money that we find in the game. Oh, this is amazing. This is the best part of the game by far. Woohoo! Let's go swimming. Let's go swimming. Let's go swimming in our golden coins. <laughs> oh man, that would be amazing, but also completely impractical to do in real life. Swimming in gold, like, that's not, like, a thing you can do. It's like, it's like you when you go to those bounce houses that have, like, pits of foam, and it's like, you're in there and you, like, can't move. Like, it, it would be like that, but only worse. But, ha, uh, I can dream, can't I? Anyways, that's gonna do it for this episode of DuckTales Remastered. I am so excited to start this series. Uh, thank you for, very much for watching. I'm Color Forty, and I hope to see you for the next episode. We'll be starting the real stages. The real stages are longer, harder, and more awesome than the first one was. Have a great day, and God bless. In the meantime, I've got to make some money.